What up, YouTube? Major League Mac, man. It's Sunday. It's supposed to be like 57 degrees today. It's supposed to be cloudy, man. But I just got up this morning, man. Called one of my partners over. And uh, I think we're going to get to it, man, with these cars today. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this, this car journey that I'm on, man. Like, I'm living a dream right now. You know what I'm saying? I never thought I'd see the day well. Well, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to say that. I was going to say, I never thought the day I'd see that I'd be able to afford all of my dream cars. But that's not true, man. I knew one day. I always believed in myself. I always knew one day, man, that I'd have every car I ever wanted. You know what I'm saying? But I'm over here at the garage right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to document a little bit. Then I'm going to cut it off and... You know, uh, then get back to it. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, it's, 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 I'm building a two door box, uh, a black joint, 28 inch, uh, billets on there, leather interior, panoramic roof. You know what I'm saying? Like 600 horses on a motor, rear end done, QA1 suspension. Like it's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? But then that's my baby. That's my build. You know what I'm saying? Like, I bought my 96 Impala the way it is. Obviously, I bought Katrina car the way it is. Uh, I pieced the, 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 the yellow colors convertible together. But that that that, that two-door box that I got, got coming, that's to shut all these niggas up. That's to shut everybody up, you know, that's with the built, not bought moving, which is cool. But, you know what I'm saying? You save a lot of money, bro. I'm like $60,000 into a two-door box Chevy, and a car ain't going to be worth nothing but twenty five, thirty thousand. 30000 Really, it's a bad investment. I did it, man, because I love those cars. You feel me? But uh, uh, that's really just to shut the haters up, man. You know, you you buying all these people project? Oh, you bought the box Chevy Queen Chevy, man. That's her build. I ain't trying to hear that shit. It's mine now. Once you buy it, it's yours. It's mine now. So, you know what I'm saying? But being that I do have a build, and really the cutlass a build too, man. I'm supposed to be changing the color on the cutlass. I put the rims on, it, put the steering wheel on it. Gonna put the music in it. But uh, the cutlass a build too, man. But the, the 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 black one, the two door box, man, that I'm building, that's really to shut you niggas up. Okay, yeah, I done bought all these projects, but bro, I saved a lot of money with buying these projects. But I also got my own build, and, and nigga, quite frankly, nigga, I'm gonna have the hardest one in my city, and possibly the hardest one in the region. There's another one coming, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Big J, you know what I'm saying for Champagne, but uh, he in Peoria right now. Big J, man, what's up, big homie? You know what I'm saying? He got a mean ass build coming too, man. You know what I'm saying? The same guy that sprayed my car, sprayed his car, and uh, uh, he 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 got some stitch by Diego work. You know what I'm saying? I ain't go that route. If you've been following me, you know that I like to mess with Peoria, man. I like to mess with Peoria for my bills. You know what I'm saying? So you know when guys ask me, oh man, who did this and who that, who did that, man, I can put Peoria name on it. I don't want to get all my work done in Chicago, all my work done in Decatur. Like nah, bro. Like I wanna, I wanna have something from my hometown, man. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been getting showed a lot of love with it, but it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I'm turn this camera, man. Check out what we got going on. Yeah. So. Yeah. Man, she did her thing with this car, man. I'm about to spark this thing up. Get this thing on out. But y'all see, hold on, I got I got some I got some stuff over here. I need to, you know what I'm saying, move out the way. But man, you got the cut dog. Got the 96 Apollo. Everything here dirty, man. Got the money collar. The money collar was supposed to get sold this morning, man. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, this is the grudge race car. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. My partner really want the car. My partner really want the money, Carlo. I might let him go ahead and, uh, get that thing, man, just to keep it in the family. But, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I think what I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about going ahead and throwing some spokes. Throwing some spokes on the, um, cutlass. And putting the billets back on the money, Carlo. Throwing the steering wheel in there. And um, coming out like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I seen uh, Deion Jackson down in Decatur, Illinois. He posts, you know, he got he probably got the hardest. No, nah, he do, man. Deion Jackson, shout out to Deion for D-Town Customs. He got the hardest Monte Carlo SS in the Midwest right now. If you, it's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? In the Midwest, he got the whole motherfucking region. He got the whole region. That's saying a lot, man, if you got the whole region on the SS's. But I'm thinking about going ahead and putting the putting the billets back on the Monte Carlo, spoken up the uh, spoken up the the cutlass, so I can call them niggas in Decatur out, 
So I can call them niggas in Chicago out, whatever they want to do. Now, you know, I ain't the biggest, I ain't the baddest, man. But just because you niggas got a fast car, man, got a hot motor on that hood, that don't mean you could drive either. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, like I say, man, these niggas can put their money where they mouth is, homie. They can put their money where they mouth is. You know what I'm saying? They want to put up that bag for a race. They can put the, put up that bag for a race. But uh, I'm about to go and pull these cars out, man. We're going to get some footage when I pull them out. Yeah, I know the I know the Senate cap missing. I already reached out to MTW. $150 for a Senate cap. I hate that it's gone, but I got to get it. You did, but, you know, matter of fact, we might even go ahead and get this motherfucker to, uh, to the car wash today, man. Go ahead and get this thing to the car wash today, man. Go ahead and get it shined up, man. The time ain't seen it yet. You know, man, it's a clean, damn clean car, though. You know? But uh, in a minute. The Monte Carlo has officially sold. But y'all only know that means one thing. If one go out, that means another one coming in. So, you know, don't think you niggas getting away, Deion Jackson. Don't think your ass getting away, nigga. Just because I'm selling this one. That don't mean you free and clear, my boy. I'm still about to stand on you niggas' ass. If this SS going out, that means it's another SS coming. So stay tuned. Gosh, man. 88 last year for the Monte Carlo SS, at least for the G-Body. It's a beautiful car, man. Lola Monroe. I ain't even get to play with Lola. She ain't even get to terrorize you niggas. Don't even trip. I got something better coming. If you know me, you know what the fuck it is. Parking Lola. She's about to go to her new owners, man. trade, man. You know what I mean? I quit my career as a laborer to do exactly what I'm doing now, man. Messing with these cars. I named her Lola. Lola Monroe. They didn't even get to play with her like that. But I got something better coming. Um, yep. That, that, uh, all right, Lola Monroe, man. She out of here. Never to be heard of again. Salute. Until next time, man. It's all good, though. Y'all know what time it is. So, man, we've been at it today. You know what I'm saying? Trying to install this damn Tierra grill on the 72 cut dog drop. It's giving me the business. It got a motherfucking light in the damn grill. But I'm going to have to cut the factory grill in order to get it fit in there. You know what I'm saying? To fit properly. I don't want to do it. But gosh, don't she look good, man. With that damn Tierra grill on that thing, man. Oh my gosh. Gosh, 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 gosh. So, we just gonna have to cut this motherfucking grill, man. We're gonna have to cut that damn grill, man. All right, YouTube. Man, it's been a long day, man. So, me and Major, my son, say hi, Major. We back in the garage to get this done. 
grill on the 72 colors. That cherry grill look good on there, but it's not quite there. And I still gotta get the light and stuff plugged up. I don't know if we're gonna get it tonight. I at least just wanna get the grill uh, secure. You know what I'm saying? I got the heat going and I got cold outside. So, about to get to it, man. So, I finally got the grills on there. I admit, man, it look damn good. Let me let me move some of this stuff, man. Me and Major done finally figured this thing out, man. It's been my little helper for the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, I done had some interruptions today. But, uh, I got it, man. For the most part, I got it. I need to uh, make some, some, uh, some adjustments. But, uh, for the most part, man, I got that thing. I don't got enough time tonight. Excuse me, Major. I don't got enough time tonight to, uh, yeah, that thing look good, man. You know, I, I think they could fit a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? I got to make some adjustments. I like how that driver's side is, that passenger side. I ain't really feeling like that, but it does look good. Can it look better? Yeah, but I, I think it's more than just me. Um, I think it's the grill in and of itself is a little ill-fitting. Um, I know Tierra Grill, man, they specialize in, uh, they specialize in box Chevy grills. At least that's how they got started. I think everybody requesting that they, uh, do other grills like Cutlasses or Deltas or stuff like that. You know, I think they, uh, I think they do well. They do damn well, man. Tierra Grills are quality grills, but man, I think they dropped the ball, man, with this Cutlass grill. Like I said, you know, like, like, like right here, that's a little, you know what I'm saying? That gap right there. I think it's supposed to be like that, but I think I would like it better if they had filled that in. You know what I'm saying? Had they filled that in, make that look a little better. I'm a little OCD about how it turned out. I think this one is is nice and square. This one right here, I think it could come up. It's a little tighter right here and a little, a little, little looser down here. But for the most part, man, it looks good. I ain't got time to... You know what I'm saying? Splicing that, that light, but it, you know, I paid for the one with the light, so it definitely got to get on there. But, uh, man, that's it, man. It's been a hell of a day. Uh, Lola got sold today. Oh, Lola Monroe got sold today. Uh, I think I'm, uh, if I haven't already done it, it's going to be spliced into it, to this video. And, uh, man, that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? Got the cutlass, got the cutlass grill going. Uh, I'm supposed to be painting the colors. I love that yellow. But we're going to see, you know what I'm saying, if I'm able to get that got that color in. Now that Lola gone, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got no name for the uh, 96 Impala. But now that Lola gone, and we got old, uh, I don't know what we're going to call her. She beautiful, though, that's for sure. She beautiful, though. I'm about to go warm this thing up so I can get that in. I got to hit MTW tomorrow. So I'm going to get that center cap ordered on that, on that front passenger side. But, uh, man, that's it, man. You know, as I say always, comment, like, subscribe, tell your people about me. I'm doing something positive, man. You see, I got my son out here working with me. I'd rather have him out here with me than selling drugs or in the streets or shooting somebody, you know what I'm saying, or learning from another man that don't mean him well. You know what I'm saying? Once again, comment, like, subscribe, man. Hit me up on, uh, on uh, Instagram, Major League Mac. Or leave a comment on here, man. Holler at me, man. I interact with my subscribers. If you don't know, I, uh, a couple videos ago, I stated that once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away $1,000. So if you've been rocking with me, I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to go about it. I may uh, have a little contact contest or I may even just reach out to a lucky subscriber. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I... I Man, we, we shall see. But $1,000 coming soon, man. Like 400 some subscribers now. You know what I mean? I, I, got, I, I ain't gonna say I got a long way to go. I only been doing this for about six, seven weeks now, and I got 400 subscribers, so I ain't doing too bad. You know what I'm saying? So that $1,000 could be in your pocket in no time when I get to that $1,000. So tell your people to subscribe. It might just be you. And comment. You know what I'm saying? Comment. You might be that lucky one, that lucky guy, that lucky girl to get that $1,000. Know what I'm saying? Until next time, hustle or be broke. Y'all know what it is. Later on.